Hi, I'm Jay Schaefer, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble one of these. This is a uh, Jabilizer 3000 camera stabilizer, and it's a Merlin type uh, study cam, basically. And so, before I uh, disassemble this and uh, reassemble it for you, I wanted to show you a couple features of the Jabilizer 3000. Okay, first of all, this is a bow type uh, camera stabilizer and it works on the principle of having a weight underneath here and having a ball gimbal mount here that allows the camera to move freely on top of that. And so now I can move the camera left to right very stably and forward and then up and down. Okay, so this is the uh, Jabilizer 3000, and in just a moment, I'll show you how to assemble one yourself. Okay, I have disassembled my Jabilizer 3000 uh, camera stabilizer, and I'll show you how to assemble one yourself. Okay, the very first thing you're going to need to do is acquire the parts, and I have a parts list for you, and that's available at J. Schaefer Video dot com slash products and it's a free download PDF. Okay, let me go over the parts list. Okay, very first uh, piece that we have here. This is the Crawford 2-in-1 combination 8 to 10 inch shelf bracket and tool hanger. And the part number is HH2N1 available at Amazon.com. Secondly, you can't see it here because it's mounted inside of uh, a uh, BMX uh, handlebar grip, is a JTL mini tabletop tripod with adjustable black ball head and case. And uh, this is $6.95 from Adorama Camera. Okay, the next piece is a Lowell Interlink. This is available from Adorama.com, uh, Adorama Camera and it is $22.50. Okay, the next and most expensive piece that we have here, this is a Manfrotto uh, sliding camera plate. This is the Manfrotto 3273 Rapid Connect Adapter with sliding mounting paint, and this is $43.95 from Adorama Camera Die. Okay, next uh, we use a uh, this is a BMX bicycle uh, handlebar grip. This particular one is uh, the Diamondback BMX flange team grip from Amazon. So I took, took the, uh, the mini tripod and basically put the grip over the three legs of the mini tripod. Okay, next you're going to need some uh, inch and a quarter pan head machine screws. And then we also have a quarter twenty. This is a two and a half inch, and this is a round head machine screw. And we also have a hex head uh, quarter inch twenty, and this is a one inch machine screw. Also have a quarter inch nut, a quarter inch wing nut, and then I have about fifteen of these inch and a quarter uh, fender washers and then also I have a one inch fender washer that I use to secure the other washers with. Okay, additionally I have a custom built camera bridge plate here and this is available from jshafervideo.com slash products and this is about fifteen dollars plus shipping and handling. Okay, the very first step that we want to take is that we want to go ahead and mount our mini tripod with the ball head to the Lowell Interlink. And if you go out to the Lowell Interlink, you'll notice that it has a bore that runs down the center and also a horizontal bore. And on one side it has one quarter uh, twenty uh, hole, and then on the opposite side it has two. Okay, we're going to take the single centered one, and we're going to go ahead and screw the Lowell Interlink on here until the screw starts to poke into the bore. And at that point we're going to take our 5 8 inch stud which came with the Lowell Interlink 
and we're going to go ahead and insert this about a quarter of the way through here. And then once it's about a quarter way through, I'll go ahead and tighten up the uh, ball head mount with a pair of needle nose pliers and that does a pressure fit on there and holds that secure. Okay, the reason I went about a uh, quarter of the way in there, that's just what I found as a good starting point to balance the Canon HV30 camera and camcorders of about that same size. Next I took four fender washers and I put those onto the quarter uh, inch 20 uh, knurled screw that comes with the Lowell interlink and I secured those to the end of the inner link there and those will act as a counterbalance on there. I want to go over this real quickly as I took uh, the uh, Crawford brace and I drilled holes on one inch centers here. So there were two screw holes already there as part of the brace and I drilled four more exactly on one inch centers there. And that allows me, if I have a heavier camcorder, I want to mount some more weight there. Or if I want to adjust the camera plate backwards and forwards, I can do that. But we're going to use the two, uh, we're going to use these first three holes here. Uh, the first being the one that actually was uh, part of the brace when, when uh, I purchased it. And you'll notice that that is actually on the center of gravity for this brace. And I also drilled a hole immediately below that on the center of gravity uh, and this is another uh, hole that is on the center of gravity here. If I were going to uh, not use the bridge plate what you can do is you can take a quarter twenty one inch machine screw and you can come up here vertically and then we're going to take two screws and screw down to secure the little inner link on there and then you would secure the camera plate onto that upward facing quarter 20 screw. Okay, and so that's a less expensive way, but again, it's not uh, as secure or as stable as using the bridge plate. And so I'll show you uh, going ahead and using the bridge plate first. I can take my plate here. and I'll screw the, through the brace into the little interlink to uh, secure the bridge plate. Okay, I've screwed the bridge plate to the little interlink and the brace and now we have a nice platform with which to mount the camera plate. And so the camera plate basically has uh, four holes in it and we're going to use 1032 screws pan head machine screws and we're going to mount the camera plate to the bridge plate and if you order the bit bridge plate uh, uh, from me I'll include the uh, four 1032 pan head screws and once the bottom part of the sliding camera plate is secured to the bridge plate I'll take my sliding camera plate and I can go ahead and slide that onto the uh, uh, camera plate and I'll just tighten down that screw just to hold that on there. Okay finally what we need to do is we'll take our two and a quarter inch quarter twenty round head machine screw we'll mount that up through the bottom of the brace we'll take a quarter inch nut and we'll spin that on there to secure this screw into the brace so that it just doesn't fold it through the bottom and then I'll use about seven of the inch and a quarter fender washers to act as a counterweight and also put a one inch uh, fender washer on there just to secure the other fender washers and uh, take a wing nut and put that on there to secure those fender washers and those fender washers act as a counterweight. As you add more weight up here with a heavier camera you may have to add more washers down here uh, to achieve the correct balance. Okay there you have it. There's the Jabalizer 3000 and uh, 
I wish you good luck in building your own and if you don't want to build one yourself you can uh, have me build one for you and you can reach me at jshafervideo.com slash products. Thank you.